Hi, this is Anita Medoro with another episode of Procreate Made Easy. Uh, this is episode is about designing a chest using Procreate. This is a chest which we actually have in our showroom. And you'll notice a few things that I've taken a photo of it straight on. So I've imported the chest now into Procreate and now I'm starting to outline around it. Doesn't be perfect because uh, Procreate then will kind of shake it into its own um, sort of square. I can kind of adjust it if I need to. If it's not quite right, sometimes I can just, I just start over again because it's like it's not um, working uh, right on this. And that kind of seems to be a little bit of the issue here. So we can start again. Sometimes just go in and erase the layers easier. Just as a reminder again, remember for Procreate, you work in layers. So, you know, when you have the photo, you have to add a layer on and you have to draw for the next layer. If you don't use the layer, this is not going to work. The clipping mask will not work on this. So here we go again. Let's see if we can get it. There it's sort of shaking in place a bit. So it says up there, okay, a bit of a rectangle. I can start moving it around onto the uh, canvas here to get it to kind of where I want it to be. You can uh, sometimes play with this a little bit if you if you need to, just to make sure that it's you know exactly where you want it to be. You try to get it to be as perfect as you can. Sometimes what's most important is the first one that you do that you want to make sure because the other ones kind of all follow from it. So I try to get it you know exactly into the corners and into the different um, edges just to make sure that it's as close as possible. This can take a little bit of time. So if you move it, you can always bring it back again. So this is one of the great things about Procreate is you can always adjust things as you need to adjust. And because you're working with layers, if you want to delete one layer, you can always delete the layer. It's quite easy to do. You'll notice too that I work with bright colors because then it allows me to see it. So then now I've kind of filled it in. And this is very important in that you need to be able to fill in the, the space there because if you don't fill in the space then it um, you cannot do the clipping mask on this so now I have the one layer and I've now I have a I've put onto it another layer there I've got two layers if you've noticed that I put one um, one on the top and then one on the bottom so now you can kind of play with this there are two different sizes and, and this is why you want to have it where it's uh, the bright colors because then you can work uh, with the layers quite a bit easier. You know exactly which layers you have. So now I'm working out the next layer where I'm going to do the little feet down there below. And again, I can um, work and I can, you know, I have to put the color in. Okay, there. If the color doesn't go in, you cannot do the clipping mask. Just as a reminder on this. And then I'm going to duplicate the layer and then I'm going to move it. This is actually the easiest way to be able to do it, and sometimes I, I make, the, make it larger, and then if you don't make it large enough, and you try to move it, then it kind of makes the size go different. If I want to have it be the exact same size, and I'll make the picture larger, and then move it over in a larger uh, picture, and then you know adjust it as I need to. The duplicate function on Procreate is really a great function to have. Now that I have those two there, then I have to be able to move them below that layer so that you can't see them. Now if you go back to see, see they look like their feet underneath there because you moved them under the layer. So again, you know, you're working with the layers there. Okay, now I'm adding a another layer I want, you, you could take off the layers and kind of see what you have done on this, but I'm adding another layer because I want to add the line kind of down the middle of the chest. So I turned off those other layers because I want to kind of be able to see where the line is actually on this chest. Now if you hold the line down, then the line will straighten itself out on Procreate. So you don't have to draw a perfectly straight line, Procreate will help you do that. And then you come back and you can add the layers on and there you have a line down the middle. And you can see that it's a straight line because Procreate already helped me to be able to do that. Now the um, next step after this is we're going to add another layer.
and then we are going to, um, if you add extra layers like I've kind of done here, you can just go on and you could ignore them or you can um, re, uh, you know, just ignore them or you can erase them. Because again, you know, the only thing that would erase would be that layer, not the entire design that you've done. So now I'm going to next try to add on um, some kind of handles. And I want to kind of do like a square handle here. So I'm going to do the square and I'm going to let Procreate sort of straighten it out. Then I'm going to move it as I need to be able to move it around. I can do that till I get it to exactly the way I want it to be. I want it to be kind of down there through that sort of center uh, line there. And then I will now add a color on it. Okay, so what I want to do is I want this to kind of go below uh, I want to be able to see the line through it because I want to see that it's a handle. So then I will put it then below that line. So you can move the layers around, you can change them, you can adjust them. That's really a great thing about this. You just, you know, put your finger on it. It's very easy to be able to adjust any of the layers that you need to adjust. That's one of the things I love about Procreate is that it's so very, very user friendly. Now we're starting to do the clipping mask function where I've added a layer here on, then I've added the photo, imported the photo, inserted the photo on top of this, and then you just do clipping mask and it clips right into the shape that is below it. So this is why you have to have all these different layers when you're working with this so that you can be able to add a layer on top of this layer. And this is why I use bright colors too because then I know this orange Will be this color now this one i'm going to basically use a, a blue color that i that i have and that i will use again a clipping mask function with it where it goes all over it there not a blue i'm sorry a gray color and i will then do the clipping mask on it and if i like the look of that color then i can use it i kind of like the look of that color now i'm going to do the same thing with the legs there so each leg will need to have its own clipping mask done so it's basically a layer on top of a layer. You can see here I'm adding a layer, and then I do the clipping mask. The reason why I do a clipping mask and I just don't fill the color is the clipping mask will actually uh, clip on the entire uh, shape, including the lines. So I don't need to worry about what color line I've used, about what color I filled in or anything. I don't um, really care too much for the gold that I had there, but I, I think I, I would, I'm gonna do like this on a silver, so. Here it is, it's with the silver because we have the silver in with the, um, you know, the silver already in with this design that we've done, this pattern, we've already added the silver on that. If you'd like to see, see something about it, we can, about the pattern, you can see some of our others where we uh, put, showing you how to do gold and silver on the pattern. So here's the piece completed, and this is really a nice rendition or drawing that something we could work on and design from and see if we like this kind of look. This is Anita. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot more great videos about Procreate Made Easy for home decor and home furniture design. We'd love to be able to hear from you at Medoro. You can visit our website at medoro.com. We have a lot of great blogs about Procreate and other things about home decor and home development. Feel free to follow us also on Instagram or Facebook. Go on to our website. We offer a free copy of a lookbook, which is filled with a lot of great design ideas, a lot of great designs we've done with Procreate or Photoshop or other things. And, and we tend to look at the trends every year and some of the trend colors. And this is free. All you need to do is go and sign up. If you have any home decor or home product needs and would like some manufacturing done in Asia, please feel free to contact us. We'd love to hear from you or love to have come visit us in, your, in our showroom. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening.